Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, this is not a horoscope. This is an energy reading. Uh, I, I perform it with um, uh, oracle cards on YouTube. So this is really um, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, Venus, <laughs> Venus, Mars, Venus, Mercury, Uranus, wherever Aries energy influences your chart or wherever it influences your life. You could be dealing with an Aries, right? So this is really all about Aries energy. And then the extended reading, which is in that description box below, there's a link to it. The extended reading is a full tarot card spread, which articulates, expands upon, digs out specifics, and personalizes all the energies that we uh, uncover over here on YouTube. Uh, so please do join me over there for that. It includes a romance reading as well. Uh, also, we have the romantic tarot that I always do every single week to give you a little bit of insight into what's going on romantically, as well as that extended, um, who's coming towards you or what your partner's going through. So check them out, you know what I'm saying? Um, Aries, I do not date these videos anymore, but I do upload a new video every single week. So if you really love your Aries content, which I hope that you do, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you get notified as soon as all my content goes live. Let's get into this energy. Aries. I feel you being pent up and absolutely <laughs> ready to explode. <laughs> like, like I can't, I just can't even imagine, you know, you, you going from a, a successful, really, uh, action packed career or really busy, really proud of yourself. And then all of a sudden it's like, uh -huh, nope, can't do anything. Can't go anywhere. You guys are social as, so it's like, like, how do you, how do you like lock down an Aries? That's just some crazy, that's, that, that's some insanity inducing shit. You know what I'm saying? So we have uh, a rebirth is assured. Nope. Feeling completely stuck and hung up and really at this point, not even willing to see things from another perspective. Just be like, you know what? Please don't come near me. Don't, don't bother me right now because this is just not the time and it won't be the time until I can get out of my apartment. Uh, use your mind wisely upside down and in reverse. This is being like really incredulous, really not believing anything, not, not either not believing anything, not wanting to see anything, being irritable. I would say overall, and I'm not trying to say, I'm not, this is your crowning energy. So I'm not trying to say this as an insult, but this is just what you're sussing through. It's like, put on your, your wellies because you're going to be like trudging through the drudges here. This is a difficult mental situation for you. Uh, a hardship that is... Um, that is more emotional and about containing and controlling yourself and how you react to things, uh, of finding new ways to use your energy or apply your energy. Um, this is could also be somebody that you're dealing with. It just an energy of really being frustrated and, and kind of unraveling and being undone be, by your own frustration with the circumstance or situation. Something is not getting a second chance. <laughs> Something is not, I'm like looking at the cards. Something is not getting a second chance. And I think it has to do with um, seven plus 11. I'm sorry, seven plus four is 11. So it's like, um, but it's in reverse. So this is a sense of shutting down, shutting down. Um, shutting down or shutting something down. Interesting. Um, embrace the in-between. Nope. Not happy about the in-between at all. Completely imbalanced. This is Libra energy. You know, flamingos, they uh, only stand on one leg and they do it uh, for economy, to economize their energy, to save their energy, right? And they flock together. That's one of their protective strengths. Their defensive mechanism is to flock together and use their beautiful bright pink color to shock other critters into thinking that there's this huge mass of pink coming toward them. It helps, it helps for their personal defenses. But it's almost like you're lost your flock. You feel like you feel like this person hanging out in the open all by yourself and all alone. Aries are really good. You're very high functioning alone. All cardinal signs do really well alone, except for Libra. <laughs> that, but most cardinal signs do extremely well alone. And you do do well alone. You have a wonderful sense of independence, except when it's not your choice. And that's what's really getting to you right now. There's something happening here that has not been your choice. Some something or somebody it could just be like the 
the quarantine. It could just be that, right? It could just be that, that sense of being really upset and irritated and frustrated that you have to completely change your freaking lifestyle. Um, uh, not that you don't care about other people. That's not what I'm saying at all. But that, that the, the irritability and frustration that's coming from being forced to do something, basically to, to be not in control or not be able to make decisions on your own that influence your own life. A lot of heavy frustration. But this also could be a little bit more personal. And let's get into a little bit more personal because this is er, Libra energy, which deals with partnerships. So it could very well be um, not very dealing very well with the in between, not liking an ambiguity about a circumstance or a situation that you're now stuck with, deciding to not move on or not move forward, or have somebody not give you the feedback or the um, the answers that you want. And I think the outside frustration about the current times is exacerbating this mood of not being able to basically um, uh, get uh, get a straight answer for some from somebody or um, or find a way through or find a way forward so this is the energy of really being frustrated with an ambiguous situation being out of balance feeling out of balance maybe feeling like your whole life is out of balance or your partnership itself is out of balance if you are in some sort of partnership now this doesn't just have to be love romance partnership partnership. This could also be a partnership, uh, you know, business partnership or, uh, you, know, you know, whatever, just the, any kind of partnership that you're working in right now being really out of balance, you know, not getting the answers that you need, um, not getting the feedback that you need, not like not knowing which, which way to go because the instructions aren't clear or people aren't communicating correctly. A lot of frustration going on there. Uh, bring your ideas to life, electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life, but this is this is idea suppression. This is holding your ideas inside. This is um, the the lack the lack of chemistry, the lack of electricity, the lack of sparks. It's really interesting to know that the, note that sometimes when we're stuck in the house with people, um, we start to realize uh, we start we our our connection to them starts to be tested, um, just because we're not our whole relationship depends on. Our own, our own personal space and being able to be away from them for a while. And then when we're stuck with them, we're stuck around them for a long time, there's this energy of like the chemistry dying or um, uh, like the, the electricity dying, uh, going out, uh, like an electric outage because, um, um, because you needed the distancing, maybe you needed the grounding, you needed the rewiring or you needed the, the space, but you don't really have it now. So this could be the spark going out, the spark dying, um, embrace the in-between and bring your ideas to life, um, or being literally repressed or suppressed because you can't share your ideas or share what you feel, or you feel like purposeless and pointless and that you're not being heard or listened to or have no outlet to be listened to. Um, or that's not like, like really take this how, how it resonates because it also could be somebody is not listening to you or you're not, you're not being heard or you just don't agree. Uh, sweet results await seven. So working very, very hard on something, trying to be productive. Um, um, you know, I've got to say this so many times that this is coming up, Aries. This is an energy of um, blessing in disguise because Sagittarius got similar energy yesterday. Um, you might want to go check out their reading, Sag reading. Um, essentially... All this difficulty and all this struggle and all this sacrifice or all this confrontation of the difficulties right now is adding up to something that is really going to be beneficial and beautiful. Honey is is delicious, of course, but only hardworking bees yield the honey. So this is a sense of maybe even tapping, having to tap into honey that you've made before, having to tap into savings or something like that. But this is basically... Um, Finding or something sweet coming out of a difficult circumstance or situation. Let's see what this sweetness is. Um, trust in the magic. 
this is the energy of love. So this is six plus six is 12, which balances out to three. That is ultimate spiritual balance. It's a new start and a new beginning, a fresh, clean slate. It is a new idea. It is a new career. It is a new direction. This is something fresh and this is something new. And for some of you, it could actually be childbirth or conception. And be peace comes in also with the energy of three. This is Libra energy in its purest form, balancing things out, helping things, maybe even volunteering. So this is a sense of putting it like allowing your frustration and your irritation to uh, spur you like like uh, like like yeah spur you like a, like a spur on the side of a horse. It's painful. I think I use this in the Sagittarius reading too. Um, go check out that reading. Um, it, it's like the pain is causing you to go into another direction, and that's actually very beautiful and beneficial finding your purpose or your sole purpose in the ability to bring peace to others be peace yourself be the messenger of peace be the messenger of caring um, organize and use your energy to help now it's really interesting i don't know how we could help society or help community right now but this is a sense of um even if it's okay maybe we're thinking too big Maybe it's not about community or going out and saving or even volunteering, though that could be a wonderful application of this energy. But this could just be simply that this the worst is about to die down. The worst is about to teeter out. The frustration and the struggle and being feeling pent up and all the craziness that is not feeling in control of your own life is literally going to morph you into something new and change you because your mind is going to kick in. It's going to force you to become or you and your partner to become something new to where you will be able to find and be at peace with the circumstance or situation. Life is a mystery. Um, essentially, this is this is the energy of eight. So it's like destiny and fate is yet unclear. Where you're headed is not. It, it's it's still murky. And so this is a journey of faith right now. It's just proceeding forward in faith you don't really know where the future is going to take you there is a sense of looking through the eyes this is like a mask that a shaman would wear to see into the other world like looking into another world maybe even seeing a whole other world and right now it seems unclear because you, you can't comprehend it you can't see it because you don't have the faculties or the ability to comprehend it and see it this is new for you. In other words, the terrain doesn't look familiar. And so it looks fuzzy and blurry. Eventually it will like, it will stop. It will lose its pixelation. It will come into clarity right now though. You are just, it's, it's unclear. This is life is a mystery. Uh, it's almost like allowing yourself to be put into an uncomfortable situation, knowing that that's part of the way through. Part of the path is going through the murky, nasty swamp that you're going to have to get through. This is it. It's like the way is unclear yet, um, but your mentality is going to be the first that changes. Uh, four plus three is seven. In other words, what this is telling me right here, it's giving me an answer. You're about to, in the next seven days, next week or so, figure out with real clear, you're about to, you're about to get some news or um, information in that's going to help clarify things for you and help you see far into the future. Not necessarily into the future, like into the distance. So owl spirit, owl can see in the dark and you can see hundreds of feet away. And this is how they hunt. So this is about you figuring out a way to get what you need, uh, get what you desire and take aim even when things are going crazy because finally you will be able to perceive in that murkiness perceive through what you don't understand right now so I'm seeing already in the energy reading uh, a resolution to the craziness and the chaos um uh 
yeah, owl energy is wisdom. So it's all about these experiences adding up to teach you something, not just teach you in terms of now you have knowledge, but teach you something in terms of now you have wisdom, now you understand. So you can release the hate, you can release bitterness, you can release frustration, you can release irritability and understand the big picture, the large picture, which is what Aquarian energy is. You know, it's almost like deciding to deciding to let go, deciding to not need the answers is actually going to be your saving your, your a lifesaver for you uh, this week. Uh, you see clearly now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Lots of cards coming out right now. Um, this is also Aquarius energy. Time for beginner mind. Oh, sorry about that. There's there's a little bit of a... Sorry about that. So, I, was, I continue to shuffle the cards. This is time for a beginner mind. Also Aquarius energy. This is um, guns out. You know, <laughs> like, like porcupine walks into the room letting you know he's prepared for anything. These are sharp communications. These are defenses out on full display because, because you're proud. You're proud of yourself and you're proud of what you've earned. But it's also a sense of, in some ways, having an open mindset. Being able to know that you're safe. Being able to know that you're protected that there's no reason to be as no so, so there's no reason to fear because you are prepared so this is the beginner mindset that comes after understanding you know so it's like the wisdom that you're gaining is helping you to understand enough so that you have confidence to know you have all your defenses think of the the needles on porcupine as swords like swords and communication in the, the official tarot deck right so um uh, you know that you have all the information that you need and you know that you have the ability to, to articulate what it is you want. So you don't have to be fearful anymore. Um, you have everything that you need and you can walk in with an open mind because you have the wisdom as, it's like you're wearing the wisdom as your defense. Uh, believe in yourself. This is squirrel energy, also the energy of five plus seven. That adds up to 12, also three, a lot of three. So we're talking about divine balance. We're talking about Holy Trinity. We're talking about body, mind, and spirit all coming into alignment by giving yourself purpose and giving yourself work, just preparing every day and not allowing your mind to get chaotic and crazy, just applying yourself to work. I don't know what kind of work that you do, but whatever it is, make it something that you're passionate about because it's actually, this is Virgo energy, going to help to heal you. This is also planting for the future, just making a decision to uh, move forward, making a decision that you're going to have a future, but just deciding that you're going to have a future, believing it and preparing for it. Uh, and then we have think on your feet improv imp improv you know that's that's what it is this is a, this is once again you're sort of lost in this mystery and even though you will find hope and wisdom the way forward is still kind of kind of foggy so it's like hey i'm just i'm not going to think okay i'm going to prepare for the future i'm going to plan that there is going to be a future but i'm not going to plan what direction i go in i'm going to duck and weave and and like bob and weave and make decisions as i go because that's what i can do right now this is sagittarius energy it is literally owning the chaos thriving in the chaos using the chaos as the fuel itself loving how it feels to not have to plan or not have to prepare, getting yourself into that point where you actually uh, are loving the freedom that that comes with like not having the same schedule or the same obligations as you used to. Freedom is yours, and that's why this energy has come. Three plus three equals six, which is love. This could be you actually um, deciding if you're in a partnership with somebody to be more ambiguous with your relationship, to not make a decision or not put a title on it, or um, or basically being liberated and 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 liberated from something that was hard for you to let go of, liberated from something that was hard for you to move on from, but simultaneously liberated just the same of finally being able to appreciate and enjoy your freedom this is once again also aquarius energy really really interesting i know the sun is in aries right now and aquarius um saturn um 
Saturn just went into Aquarius. Um, I almost feel like you're thriving now, being released from re responsibility that you were holding on to in the beginning. And, and it, even though you, you may not be there yet, that's going to be part of the solution that helps you out. Um, yeah, transformation is beautiful. So this is spreading your wings and flying. In other words, allowing that old part of yourself or that old partnership, those old expectations to die. And a lot, and, and in doing so, allowing it to it or you to become something new. Uh, freedom, being able to head off and find uh, a happier, more beautiful place and a happier, more beautiful um, people to be with. People that are more like you. Uh, take time out. I think that's pretty blatant. Defend your space. You're protected. You're guarded. Um, you have what you need. There is like guardians around you, protecting you, making sure that you have everything that you need. This is mama bear energy. It could also be very frustrating energy if it's if it's actually a person in your life being aggressive or being growly or being too overprotective. But simultaneously, you're realizing that they are a huge resource for you to enable you to basically continue to fly and find that freedom. These cards right here, this is about finding treasure in a trash heap, figuring out how to make the, the most out of a difficult situation. And this is divine intervention from spirit. This is all divine timing. It's all supposed to happen. Like listen and follow spirit's guidance. This has got to be, once again, finally being able to come out of the dark. Find, find your way out of the dark or take messages from the dark to help you utilize them and in this, in this time that is frustrating you. Um, <clears throat> almost like finding solace in the dark. Um, but Raven is a spirit and energy that basically sends you messages from the dark places. You know, he, he, he is messages from beyond the veil. He's a very, once again, very shamanic energy. So he comes usually to witches or witch doctors or shaman or wizards. Uh, you know, he's, he's a familiar of them because he has that access. He's the delivery system between the other world and this world. Um, he brings, but he brings light into the darkness. So this is you finding the way around, not around, but the treasure in the trash heap, finding a light or a brilliant spot in the darkness. In other words, whatever you're going through right now, whatever frustration, or hardship you're feeling, you will find a way to turn this into creative energy. Think that wand energy. Wand energy is fire energy. You are a fire sign. This is all about being creative. And you may not see the way forward now, but what the cards are telling me is you're going to, the way forward will become clear for you. Hold on. Um, uh, let's review the cards. So this reading was slow to start, but it actually became a lot bigger. But I think it's because the cards, like, you know, the, me the message was started out very frustrated. It, it started out very um, uh, almost stubborn, um, stuck, frustrated, nothing's going anywhere. But boom, all of a sudden, some sweetness came. And that could be resources coming in from the outside, but it also could be just realizing your blessings. Remember, honey, honey is um, um, a substance that actually helps us with allergies and helps us to fight allergies. It's a, it's, it's a healing. It's, a, it's, it's sweet, but it's almost like sweet medicine. Let's put it that way. It's um, like a spoonful of sugar. Helps the medicine go down, but it's actually medicine in and of itself because um, it has uh, antihistamine properties or it helps the body build those, those um, um, sort of um, like natural defenses toward allergies. So it's, it's literally finding, uh, like finding sweetness through difficulty. And this is your central energy of uh, being willing to start new, being open, trust in the magic. Like trust in the magic. Like there's so much magic here. There's bobcat energy. There's a uh, crow spirits. Whatever you're going through right now is a hundred percent magic. It's it's like intended to change you. It's intended to morph you into something new. Um, this is a transitional period for you. It's supposed to happen. And so literally, let it drop away. Let the frustration drop away. Drop all the plates. Drop all the the burdens. Like drop them. 
down and relinquishing control is your way through this. Things will start to clear. It's, it's almost like you will finally be able to start to see through the dark by not using your eyes at all, but instead connecting spiritually and allowing your creativity to flow. So there is definitely a way into the light and into the balance, into, uh, into peace for you. Um, let's go over to tarot. I want to articulate this energy. It's really important for me to do that. Um, since this is very, um, sort of, sort of esoteric, it's very philosophical energy, but I want to articulate it. And then we're going to go into the romance reading as well. So Aries, that link is below. I will see you in the extended. <laughs> 